Make sure you guys go check out my new merchandise available in the link in the description below. What's going on my Super Saiyan player back and again with the Jack and Daxter collection for the PlayStation 4. Yes, I finally got to take three tries for that. Holy shit. But anyway guys, we are back here at it again and today we're going to be... What in the fuck do you think you're doing, mate? Get out in the picture. I think today's the dig mission. Um, Hopefully you are. I think my camera's mirrored. Holy shit, let me just uh, flip that. Whoops, that would have been embarrassing if I did the whole episode. My hair looks weird today. All right, all right, for this angle, God damn it, I only come down one side, but you know what, y'all was demanding for the face cam, so I'm bringing it. Hopefully I don't block out too much with my big ass head, but it's cool. Anyway, we're heading to Omen, and the past few episodes I didn't do face cam because, like, some days, it's, it, I, I just, I don't feel like I look like, I, I feel bummy, and I ain't gonna lie, it's just like, eh, the extra mile to have to do the face cam and get the cutties out and like the deadlines for all these videos it's, it's just so much at once i'm like i gotta get the video out might as well just do it with the face cam but i like doing face cam you guys get to see live reactions of things and i just dodged the crimson god but yeah give me a like for face cam guys i know you guys some people enjoy it some people actually don't comment down below with which you guys prefer more and we got the guards chasing us so now to own it's gonna get ourselves on a vehicle and get the hell out of here but what I know is today we have the dig site, and then and what I can presume, I believe, not the dig site, the dig, I think there's eight precursor orbs there. We're going to be scanning the entire area because I don't exactly remember where all those precursor orbs are, and I believe it's eight. I'm not entirely sure, so it's going to be kind of interesting to see if I actually get them all. Remember, not required because you can still go back. The only area you have to ever take super, super seriously is the metalhead nest because those areas right there especially that one you cannot go back and replay and that's not the best thing when it comes to playing stuff so anyway we found onan let's go talk to the woman here we go Young man. the bird brain and i were just talking about you jack onan is very proud of what you did what i did what you did what you do it's all the same will you stop with the deja voodoo stuff it's creepy! Onan says you must find the Tomb of Mar. Even now, Baron Praxis seeks the tomb, but only <laughs> the one true heir of Mar can open the tomb's seal. We believe the kid is the key. The prophecies say that the true heir of Mar must face the ancient oracle. He alone must circumvent the cunning test of man. He alone must wield the precursor stone, thereby unleashing the... Jeez Louise, fossil lady! Stop with this snooty mythic talk already, huh? You know that it hurts my lips! <sighs> Why is Mars' tomb so important? The fabled precursor stone is rumored to sleep within the tomb, stupid! I added the stupid part. The precursor stone contains vast eco-energies. It can be used for great good or great evil. <laughs> I just love saying that last part. The Baron wants the Precursor Stone for himself to rule the world. But he is playing with forces he does not understand. Okay, Pecker. So how do I get this Precursor Stone? First, you must go to the dig and find the Lurker Totem. Onan and I have learned that a piece to the Seal of Mar is contained within its ancient carvings. You must find all three pieces of the Seal to open Mar's gate into the canyon. Okay, we have to find all the pieces of the seal. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna be heading over there now. I think the lighting changed. Yo, like, why does this angle make me look crazy? I'm not crazy, I swear to God. I think. Anyway... Why is it turning to be on this path? Nande Kuruba, this path, Nande Kuruba. I actually want to play Jack in Japanese. Someone actually commented that, and I was like... That's actually a freaking good idea because I didn't even like realize that a lot of these games have Japanese options. I'm not sure I ever heard this one in Japanese, but I gotta say, I remember playing God of War, like the new one, and I saw that there's a, a Japanese dub, and I was like, holy shit. They have the anime voices in Naruto. I mean,. gonna try to keep myself contained. Um... 
shit, the dig. This has got me stressing because whenever I have to, whenever I have to like memorize where the precursor orbs are, that pressure to not miss them on camera, that's gonna be tough. And I think I'm gonna have to end up using the guide that I made a long time ago to find them. However, I didn't go super in detail, so it's gonna be kind of tough. Anyway, we're just gonna get onto the vehicle. Haha. Hey, 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 bitch, she charged. I'm bringing a pocket, dude. Bring a pocket. Hey. Yeah, I'm a murderer. Bring it. Aye, aye, aye. Aye, aye. <laughs> I wish you could drive these things. That's what I always wanted. I wish we also had a co-op mode in Jack and Dexter as well, because like co-op would have been pretty sick. I mean, they had that, like, kind of in Ratchet and Clank Deadlocked, where Jack and Ratch were actually side by side, and I loved that. I think that was the selling point for the game for me. Like, afterwards, I was like, holy shit. They actually managed to do it, and it felt awesome fighting against, like, side by side with Jack and Ratchet, but it just wasn't the best game for it. I mean, like, the port. The port kind of killed that game for me. The PS3 port. That was a bad port. Ugh. One of the worst ports I think I've ever played. Alright, we killed all of them. Let's grab Dark Eco. Scattergun comes in a lot of use here. Alright. Let's try to find our eight precursor orbs, scan the entire area, sweep the city, and find them before the Baron uses the precursor stone to destroy the world. What I like is that they have the misconceived notion that he's gonna try to destroy the world, or even intentionally try to destroy it, because that's not the Baron's intentions, actually. There's a precursor orb over there, that's one. I know where the other one, there's one to my right, but let me just scan the entire damn. This is good though, because I need to kill as many of these guys as I can so that I can add all of your metalhead gems. Did I kill one behind me? That's interesting. It's actually probably better to sweep this place on foot because if I don't, I might actually miss some things. Here's one up here. First one of many. Nice looking lava. I like that. That's initiative by the Divinity Burst. Okay. There's a grind well. You gotta head up the entire thing here. Heading inside. We got five of these little buttons we got for a strat. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this do 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 da Head across here. I don't think they're like scattered close. There was either six or eight in this area. We'll see. First button right here. At least it takes me through every nook and cranny because I... That's a pretty big area. Like if you think about it, it's a pretty big one. Damn, I shot this guy like 20 times in the head. And he would not drop. Okay, that was like four precursor orbs that I've seen so far. Uh, someone ha hanging over there, someone over there, and someone over there. Dur -dur 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 -dur. Let's head down. Don't fall in the lava. Okay. With the area. Give me my dog, Kiko. Losing a lot of melee. Oh my god, I didn't, he didn't even touch me. I saw those. Oh, some cheap shots. Some cheap, 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 cheap shots. This way. Down here. Anything? Well, I have Dark Jack, and that's the good thing about this area. You could always use this scout and find it. I saw another precursor orb in the distance. There's a shit ton of precursor orbs out here. What's this path lead to? Is this where I just, uh,. Oh my god, he just popped out of the- Oh my- I am getting absolutely wrecked by these metal headers. Yeah, this is where I just came from. So this path leads around here. It's like a maze in some of this. Please bear with me. I might have to take a death just to recover my HP. And there's two. Shoot straight? God damn it, Jack. Why are you cross eyed at the wheel? Alright, this is the path out. Yeah, that's where we started. Man, this is like one of my least familiar areas in the game. Oh, I think over here. There's a button. I always go. Normally, I would always go around and jump my way into there. But this time, not so much. I only got one button left. 
And I've only gotten a couple of people to lose. I think I saw one on... Yeah, it's one across me from here. Can I make this jump? Yep. You just go right way around. There's another one. They're just chilling all over the place. And I remember when I saw the, the guidebook, like in stores or even in the pamphlet for this game. Oh yeah, this was satisfying. Whatever. And then if you do the one, one more. Oh. What the hell? I actually... This is insane. This guy's gonna kill me. <laughs> I had to do it. I had to. I like pushing all those things down. Yeah, I remember when I saw the guidebook. It was specifically showing off this area. I, I remember... I think, and it, this was the first area that came to mind. I was like, this area is pretty damn big. Like, how do you keep track of all of this shit? Oh no, you dying? I take no hits to you. You a bitch ass. Okay, Let me just check below me. That's the area I just came back up from. Nothing over here. Okay, if I miss one, I will cry. I will cry. Okay, heading around. I love the music, how it just transitions so perfectly into the jet board. Alright, let's head downwards. Okay. We head down. We're going down, down, down. I killed something. And then you head inside here. You push the button. Okay, that's the final one. And then we get the almighty boner log. Maximum erection. Maximum erection direction. A lot of dark eco for what reason? I have no idea. But oh, there's a pierce orb right over uh, in my face. I saw it at the corner of my eye. Just scanning to make sure I didn't pass anything. I like I like that they're kind of straightforward with some of this, but some of it's not so much because. It's just look at all these platforms. It's just a big metal death contraption all over the place. That's the thing that kind of intimidates me. Like, there's just so much going on in this one area. You got like look at this lurker balloon and all this stuff, and it's like, what do I even start with? You gotta get that one in that perch. gun. Oh well. But my Tommy gun don't. Okay, we're gonna go this way. We head through here. Go right way around. And jump up top. I hear something. This douche? Oh no. I can't even get shot on it. Oh, I can't. I already killed him once though. I don't see any, uh, Precursor orbs in the distance, so we should be good. I thought those sparks were one, but it's not. I'll take the hit. Any more metalhead gems? I doubt it. Got 147, damn. Invincibility was like, I think invincibility is kind of overpriced. I don't even think Dark Jack should have came with invincibility, honestly, because he's so overpowered as it is. This Gatagun is just crazy strong. Like this part right here. Focusing intensely like right now. No more deaths. No more deaths. Blast your head open. This was funky physics with these jumps, because it's like if you accidentally hit an angle where it's like diagonal, it, like you go straight up. Funky funky physics. Funky funky feces. Wait, wait, come back! I think that's the toughest jump. I think I failed that a couple times on my let's plays. There's no way I beat that on the first try. Alright, let's see if I can get it here. Okay, just spam the shit out of X because that jump... You can end up getting hooked right back onto the thing. That's not cool, guys. There is a precursor orb, so I'm gonna jump down. Right? Yeah. 
This is where the original dig site was at. And we got some metal hairs. Really like the easiest part to miss because that whole platform up there, it's very, very misleading. Here's another metal, I mean, precursor orb. This is the one we saw towards the beginning. I believe there should be maybe one more in the area. There's another metalhead gem. I'm very greedy when it comes to metalhead gems because like I, I love these things. This is where the actual drill was. I like the detail here, um, but I also like how the area changed so much up. Like literally, if you came here earlier, you can't get any precursor orbs or anything like that. Then you come back and it's like different segments to it and more replay value from the same type of area. I like that. I think I used to do little stories where I'd hide out in the caves and be like a little caveman. Don't judge me, but that's the way it was, okay? Okay. I I think I'm gonna actually have to check in with my old guys to see what the final count was for the precursor orbs at the end right before like I walk out of here because I do not like backtracking whatsoever. I, I think that's my number one fault when it comes to let's play. Like I hate backtracking. Like that's it's just the, the burden of all burdens. I mean if it's like something that you have to like it's mandatory to backtrack i don't mind but if you have to go back because you messed up and you couldn't backtrack the first time and i don't want to fall off here that's where i kind of got hit with a wrecking ball i believe it's in the back of the uh totem i'm not sure oh whoa, 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 whoa. Don't, don't 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 oh i'm gonna get my faucet 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 i don't want to get my faucet don't don't faucet me holy sh they sent me all the way back here now's a good time to go check the guide okay it would seem as though i made it back here and i have every single precursor word. i think it was 62 don't kill me again. Not again, fucking schmo. Oh, I'm metalhead gem. Like, this area, the checkpoints are dog shit garbage. And I, I think this is why I don't like this area so much. Because I think mainly the checkpoints and so many precursor orbs for me to take in. But other than that, we are pretty much done with here. Hopefully, nothing comes up my ass and attacks me. Because that's usually what's going on. The freaking mine on the final jump. I knew I was being reckless with that jump but at the same time. Come on. I didn't get this, guys. Can you die? Shit. And it's gone. Alright, this one, I'm gonna end up get, taking a hit. Okay, maybe not. One, two, one, one, one. Crash Bandicoot! Skills in action. Let's go. I'm on it. Wait a minute. I think this time you should go get the thing. It's a curse, isn't it? Okay. That was actually one of the more funny scenes. Poor accident prone Daxter. Let's see what happens when I head outside. So, the thing I liked about this is when you take the portal out, it doesn't really make the most sense, but it still kind of makes sense because, like, every portal you take. You in the back here. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Smash that like button, subscribe, as well as turn on your news, information, update, notifications. I'll be seeing you guys next time. So head over to the hairline. All right. Bye.